Hey guys, it's Turner4590, and welcome back to Let's Play Jack and Daxter Lost Frontier. Uh, so in the last session, Jack hasn't shaved for several months. <laughs> yeah, I turned on some cheats uh, in the background. Uh, yeah, the cheats in this game are actually pretty good, and great beard plus mustache is pretty hilarious, especially since it gives Daxter a mustache too. Um, and there's also, uh, two more cheats that I activated on top of these, and, uh, you'll see them later. Again, just purely cosmetic. I'm not cheating or anything. It's just nothing but cosmetic. Um, oh, actually, we don't need to see Kira. Um, how much Dark Ego do we have? Is there any way? 300. Okay, that's not enough to buy anything. So let's just, uh, head back up to Phoenix and, uh, move on with the plot. As the game almost crashes. Well done! You are now an honorary pirate! Ah, I remember my first heady days as captain of an outlaw crew. The camaraderie. Yeah, so, uh, it looks ego. like... The pillage. As a special yeah, of this uh, the... You are now these cutscenes are pre-rendered because the PSP can't handle it. So, the ship as you any of the things. cosmetic cheats that you put on aren't in the cutscenes. So, stuff like idea. Cleaver's diaper and, and stuff would just not be nearly as fun. Operate. Then we're in <sighs> I know of an old research station it's weird, they put in the most cosmetic cheats abandoned. the series has ever had, and it's in the game where they're the most useless. Why didn't you just go get it? A stash of light eco could fund this little pirate band of yours for a hundred years. <laughs> or were you afraid of the Europans? Light eco is that fit. powerful? Really? But I am not fearful oh. of the Europans. Of that you can be sure. Jack! <laughs> Is it worth a shot? Only one way to find out. Oh, by the way, I can drive this thing. <laughs> we recovered an rope and heavy bomber on one of our raids. And the captain says it's yours if you want it. She's waiting down in the hangar. Cool. And uh, to continue the mission, we actually got to take the take the wheel over there. But uh, we actually have a brand new ship, so I want to go check that out. I'm guessing that I might just want to end up using the Sky Pirate. Um... I'm guessing that I'm gonna end up just keeping on with the Sky Pirate, but we'll uh, we'll check out what configuration this thing has. Sky Raider bomber. Okay, so it's got three ground air. Uh, is there anything like about its speed or anything? Like it doesn't tell me. That's a shame. Uh. Hmm. You know, it, to be honest, I don't really see a point of uh, using the bomber. Like, it's... Honestly, the Sky Raider looks better, because it's it just... I have an additional laser slot. I could see maybe using this if I had another laser, because I could have four lasers. <laughs> which would be hilarious. But... I... Just the fact that this has three lasers and two more mod slots... Uh... I, I just don't think that's necessary to use the bomber. I wish it told you, like, stats about, like, durability and speed. Unless every ship has the same speed, which I'm pretty sure is not the case. I'm pretty sure the Sky Raider is the slowest ship. Or at least one of the slowest, so I don't know. Um, so here's one of the cheats I activated, by the way. Yeah, that's, uh... <laughs> not so man enough now, are you, Phoenix? <laughs> no, who am I kidding? You can be manly and have a pool floaty. Okay, and uh, let's take the helm and head to our next hub area. And yeah, it's cool. It lets you uh, go to them, and uh, I think this might be it. I think there's only one other area besides these three, and the game is going to make us return to them because, you know, not it's not a very big game, unfortunately, so they just got to keep reusing areas. Um, anyway, uh, abandoned research rig, Brink Island. Yeah, so we're going to the abandoned research rig. Let's go. as we watch the blatantly ripped off Ratchet and Clank loading screens, but it's okay. Again, High Impact Games actually made a Ratchet and Clank game. They made Size Matters for the PSP, which, uh, yeah, was uh, apparently on the PSP, it was pretty, pretty good, pretty good for a handheld Ratchet, but apparently it's just not anything special uh, compared to the main games and <laughs> The PS2 version is similar to this, where it's just like they didn't really care about porting it that well. Um, yeah, uh, let's go. Screw these loading screens, you've seen them before. I counted it, it's, I, I didn't count it, but like, 
these going through this loading screen in total is like 35 seconds every single time and it's just like why why uh, whatever and I've been talking for so long that I actually don't have to skip it so uh <laughs> whatever new area let's go Here that goes deep into the planet. I wonder if. Ah! Uh oh. Kira! <laughs> we'll save her. Okay, read that line again, except with more feeling. This place too has formation. There's only seven crystals in this entire area? Really? That's crazy. Okay, so, uh. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and do this. Again, oh, they only give you 30 seconds for it, though. That sucks. Um, there's the Phantom Blade. I don't see any more crystals, so I'm just gonna head back to the statue. It's just not fun getting the, getting the stuff. It's just, it's not fun. And that easy. And we got 2,000 for it, so that's pretty nice, I guess. Uh, considering there's only, like, four left, I don't think it's really worth it to, uh, go out of my way to get them. Because I'm pretty sure, I don't even know if it would be possible to do the rest in one go unless I, like, had a faster ship again. And there's these ships, and I remember these ships giving you a ton. Yeah, 200 each. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, is that another Dark Eco Crystal? Okay, is, if I can find another one, then it might be worth it. Uh, I can't see any, unfortunately. Just destroy these real quick. Is there any dark eco crystals like over here? Yes, there is. Okay, here. Um, whoops. And boop. Okay. This is probably not going to work, but might as well give it a shot. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get back to the Oracle in time. I like how I, I kept saying that, oh, I'm never doing this crappy uh, Oracle mission ever again, and then I ended up doing it multiple times. I might be able to get there before the... No oh, wait, I think I saw one over there. Oh, shit, I didn't. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, I should be able to get there in time, though. Yes! Oh, I didn't even get anything far. <laughs> God damn it. You know, that crystal mission's a lot better when there's a... Did I get one for destroying that ship? Jesus. Anyway, I remember grinding this place for a, a little bit, uh, because these giant ships give you 200 each. Yeah, they give you 200 fucking each, and it takes a while for them to stop giving you any less. Um, so, like, it just... Bam, scrap central. Um, sure, I'm gonna actually fly around for a little bit and, uh, keep killing these ships for a while. Okay, and I think I've grinded enough. Yeah, you get uh, now I'm only getting 55 for each, but every time, all you gotta do is just take a loop around this radio tower, and every time there'll be, like, a group of two, and there's three of them, so you get six every time you loop around this radio tower, and, yeah, it's so, like, even with 55, you're still getting a ton really quickly. Uh, but, yeah, see, I, I just got, like, over 5,000 there just for, what, like, five minutes of work, so... Really, really easy. Anyway, here's the uh, pirate radio tower for uh, this place. And uh, this one, um, I remember being really, really easy. And as you can see, we, we're we going to be getting a lot of scrap for this. Uh, Jack Moore scrap mod. Uh, okay, so I think Jack Moore means um, you get more scrap for using the Daxter quick time event on ships, which... I, who cares about that, so... But still, we get 2,500, just for bronze. And a reflexor beam, oh my god, yes. Uh, so that'll make a, the yellow gun, the shots bounce, just like in Jack 3. And it was broken in Jack 3. It's I don't remember it being quite as broken in this, but um, still awesome. So sure, let's uh, do this mission. Destroy the repair tenders. Okay, then. I don't even know what tenders means. Like, I know what tender means, but... I, oh, I... Mm, like, I think they mean, like, tender 
as in like like a helper. So that's weird. I've never heard heard it used like that. Okay, so yeah, with the lasers you can just make instant work of these uh, ships, and all you gotta do is just destroy them, and you gotta destroy a couple. And we're and we're getting scrap for it, so awesome. Um, by the way, uh, while I was destroying all these things and grinding, I, I did not see any, uh, I didn't find any, uh, any of them were carrying mods. There were, none of them were carrying mods, so I wasn't able to jack anything. <laughs> jack anything. <laughs> it's funny for two different reasons. That's called comedy, folks. <laughs> Can you see how ridiculous the lasers are? It's so much fun. And another one just pops out of nowhere, and you just shoot it right back. Okay. Oh, that that one was just not sure which way to go, and yeah, like we we got gold easily. So I guess we just gotta wait for the timer to to finish. I guess <laughs> pretty much. Yep. God damn it. Thank you for the scrap. A new record. Okay, and. You, again, you, it's the exact same challenge again, except get a little bit more enemies, so it's just like, it's really, you don't need to see it, so, yeah, uh, password! Okay, and I'm done. By the way, when I failed that one time, that wasn't me, like, just having a panic attack and miserably failing the mission. I actually... The reason why I did that was because I saw that one of the ships had a weapon mod, and I really wanted to see what it was. And then he completely disappeared off my map, and I wasn't able to find him. So that's why I lost that second time. Um, I don't suck that much. Um, okay, so, yeah, that's... That's the end of that radio tower, and, you know, I'm actually a bit curious if, um, now that we're in a new area, maybe our ship actually has some, uh, some new stuff to buy. I'm hoping. Uh, so I'm gonna see if there is, and if there isn't, I'll just meet you at our objective. Okay, so, uh, I actually ended up upgrading my, uh, lock-on missiles, because I had over 30,000 scrap, so I thought, why not? So, yeah. Now I have maxed out lock-on missiles and uh, instead of a machine gun, and so yeah, I, I figured that I might as well, because I'm not using the machine gun, and if I upgraded the lock-on missiles, then they do more damage than the machine gun, so yeah. So, yeah, so let's move on, and even though we just did all that ship upgrading, uh, now it's time for platforming, so that's a shame.